Hey guys, Taylor here, your backstage beautician, and today we're doing a hairstyle for the napkins from the Ensemble of Beauty and the Beast. I also made a little hair piece for this video, so if you want to make something similar, just leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to help you guys out. Without any further ado, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is curl just my fringe in a couple really tight ringlets. So I'm going to separate out my fringe and pin the rest of my hair out of the way. The napkins are intended to be very French. I mean, they even count on stage in French. And so because of that, I decided to play up a lot of the stereotypes and use a lot of ringlets that would have been popular in that time period. All right, now that I got my fringe pinned out of the way, I'm gonna move on to the rest of my hair. How you curl the rest of your hair is not super important. We're going to put it up in a really high ponytail later. So just throw some tight curls in it and try to get it to hold as best you can. The napkins from the ensemble of Beauty and the Beast are a big dancing roll, so we need a hairstyle that was up high, tight, and out of the way, and wouldn't fall out after a lot of dancing. All right, and once you're done throwing some ringlets into the rest of your hair, we're gonna pull all this hair up into a high ponytail. You can also do this hairstyle with a half up ponytail. I'm going to make this a pretty sweepy, loose, and drapey ponytail. You don't want it to go back really slick and tight. I'm gonna use every trick in the book to make this a really big bouncy ponytail, including but not limited to pinning the top of the hair tie, teasing the base of the ponytail. I'm also going to place a small butterfly clip at the base of the ponytail. Oh, and at that point, I don't know how to make this ponytail any bigger or higher, so let's move on to the bangs before we get carried away. So unpin the ringlets. I'm gonna hairspray them immediately to lock that curl into place. And then, here's the fun part. You can arrange them however you want. You can brush them out to create a loose wave for your face framing fringe, or else I'm gonna to choose to keep them in the traditional ringlet and really play up the French style of these characters. So I'm gonna brush the base of the fringe over to one side, pin it into place at the very top of the ringlet and where I want the fringe to start. Then lay the fringe across your forehead. All right, once you have your fringe all pinned into place the way you like it, it's time to move on to the fun part, the hair accessories. I made this hair accessory out of an old headband I had lying around and some paper. You can use some really starched fabric or cardstock. All right, once you've added the fun hair accessories and zhuzh it up as much as you like, we're all done with this hairstyle. That's all I have for you guys today. If you want me to do another one of the inanimate objects in the ensemble of Beauty and the Beast, maybe let me know by pressing the thumbs up button. I'd super appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, break a leg on your production of Beauty and the Beast. If you're in the